hello and welcome into the hourglass we're doing a bunch of channel messages aka rambling edition on the hourglass <laughs> all right so what is the lesson and how the heck do we move forward big talk right what is the lesson and how do we move forward hmm Keep an open mind, you guys. This could be past, present, even future insights and messages. All time and energy is fluid. All right. So we have some Mercury retrogrades coming. We have eclipse <coughs> that's happening as well. And that could also be in your life. So let's see what's going on. What's the lesson? And how the heck do we move forward from it? What's the lesson and how do we move forward from it? We have balance. So the lesson is about balance and fair. All right. So this could be some secrets. Somebody fair some secrets coming out here. All right. Or there's some sort of ending that's going to follow uh, a secret or a truth here. Hmm. I'll have your head on a stick or off with his head came through pretty strongly. Hmm. So we do have. A lot of fear that's going on. Listen, this past two years has been nothing but breaking through your fears. You know, staring fear in the face and moving forward. And a lot of that has to do with scorpionic energy as well. So with the balance card, let's start there. The balance card comes off or bounces off of the heart chakra. So somebody's heart chakra is lit up. It could be blocked. It could be overactive as well, but there's going to take a lot of meditation. And when I say a lot of meditation, I don't mean to spook you, but it's going to take some practice here to get this balance of mind or peace of mind. Now we see, um, whatever this animal is, what is a monkey, a monkey face on a human's body sitting on top of this rock. This talks about devotion this talks about uh some sort of concerned or enlightenment here that's going to bring some sort of balance or bring a moment of perfect alignment in the heart space now this could come from again meditation this could come from everyday activities where this balance is going to be struck for some of you, you're going to have to unve unveil, and this is where the fear is coming from. You're going to have to reveal or unveil the deep truth of your heart. And that could be very secretive. It could be very, very private for some of you, but it has an impact of greater peace around you and within you. Some of you have to release this mountain, this obstacle, this challenge. You have to hit that quill switch and there's a fear behind of that. Is it going to cause destruction? Am I going to miss out here? Some of you, the answer is within your heart, but you're pushing down that truth and you're also pushing away some sort of harmony or peace of mind. Some of you are pushing away total awareness here or an awakening with the balance card. Look in the mirror, look in the mirror. There's a lot of tension in the neck area, the shoulders as well. There's a lot of temptation to argue. The tongue feels very, very hot here. Hey? The tongue feels very, very like, I'm just going to say what I want to hurt who I need to hurt because I'm hurt. Now, with the balance card, I want to say that there's ration, this rational thinking going on about the truth about somebody's heart and that's creating a barrier. All right. Something about your heart's desire has a lot to do with deep, st deep states of consciousness, conscientiousness. Some of you are very aware what you have to do. This balancing of your vision of the future or balancing this harmony. It, but it feels very crucial. It feels like Something is going to be uprooted and there's a fear that things may end if you speak this truth. Listen, close your eyes and breathe slowly. Relax your mind. All right. Try to let whatever this fear or this worldly concern drop. Try to drop that ball and just focus on the awareness through your breathing. Listen, your heart has the most important message for you, not your rational thinking here. 
So find the inspiration that you need, breathe in, let out, let go of logic and seek the wisdom of your heart. That's just what I'm getting there. So we have numbers six, six, and that could talk about this transformation of that heart's energy or heart information that you're about to stumble onto. All right. We have some sort of justice balance coming forward. And again, it may feel very fearful. It may feel a lot of fear to do the right thing. I hope it's fair that you're sensing and that vulnerability because vulnerability and fear could feel like the same thing here, right? Very sensitive. Yeah, this is a very sensitive situation or you're very sensitive due to the situation. Mm -hmm. So, you know, a lot of times when we feel fair, it's usually because of insecurities or this vulnerability. For most of you, it's a lack of the awareness that you're getting from your heart. And it's causing somebody stress. Hey, it's causing a lot of shadow and darkness and the shadow and this darkness is causing illusions and blockages. The quote that comes with this card reads, I'm not afraid of the storms for I am learning how to sail my ship. So for some of you, this is happening for you to sail your own ship. Some of you may be afraid to move on from a particular person or situation. So let's get some crappy cards and see what is this all about? this ramble right so this fear is causing a lot of stress i mean it's like you're making a monster totally you're blowing this monster out of proportion or you're making a mountain out of mohill listen the great answer or the answer you're looking for is in your heart's knowledge your heart's brain <laughs> all right so let's see Crappy cards. Support others came out twice with commitment coming. We have a soulmate connection. So, you know, you're going to have an opportunity to kind of be supportive of this person of you in a soulmate connection. We have several different types of soulmate. Some of you are in a soulmate connection with someone that you don't have any karma, any past life with. So it's very brand new. It's very fresh. And there may be a little bit of fear. You're stressing yourself up. This what, that's why you have like this imbalance that's going on here. Search your heart for the truth. Hey, there's a karmic justice happening. There's a lot of information that's coming into you about the situation. It's very, very sensitive, but it also feels like toxic or poison to you for some reason, maybe because it's triggering a lot of your fears. And guess what? These triggers are highlighting what you need to heal. Six could also talk about being held back by anxiety and this stress, this fear-based thoughts could be about recognition, recognizing who you are in the soulmate connection or your person recognizing that this is a soulmate connection. Very protective energy here going on. All right. Crappy cards. What is the... Okay. <laughs> We have memories. So past memories, or you guys could be having past life energy going through you guys, but there's a memory here um, that somebody's fearing. They don't want to repeat. Memories is holding you back. You need to stay in the here and now, and that's why I ask you to close your eyes and deep breathe deeply because it's bringing the focus back on the breathing that's happening right now. All right. So release that rational thinking. It's too much. It's creating a lot of stress with this fair card. need to be alone. All right. So practice that breathing when you're alone and we have likes you romantically. So some of you may be kind of stressed out or you fear that this person is not recognizing this connection as a soulmate. I'm, I'm, I'm getting that you know the answer in your heart. You know the answer in your heart. It's your rational thinking that's taking you over. Yeah, don't take it personal. I just want to be alone. So maybe your person just wants to be alone and they don't want you to take it personal. For some of you, you're having like this 
um, wave of emotions you had, uh, sorry, wave of memories, and it's making you very emotional. It's making you very sensitive. And it could be that this person just really miss you in their me time, all right? That's what I mean. This person is in this me time energy, and they don't want you to take it personal, but you guys may be fearing the worst hey, and it's creating a lot of stress. You know the answer deep in your heart. Your person may also want you to search your heart knowledge as well to get some sort of balance and, and harmony. You know, open that way for them to return if that's the situation that you're going through. I don't know. Some of you are fearing that this is very toxic or this is like poison or it has a strange addictive energy on you, a strange hole on you, disrupting your balance. Well, if you need confirmation, this person does like you romantically, all right? So let's bust on the terror and see what is going on. Okay, so the very strong number today is six so far. Six, six, that talks about justice, um, balance. So yeah, this is going to have some balance. It is going to have some truth. Could even be some equality going on. We have death. And that's what I've, I've said. Somebody's fearing that this is all done. It's over. But it's just transforming, all right? Death is another part of life. And, you know, um, you know, you get those those uh, those scenes in the movie. It has just begun. When people is like, oh, is it over? And then you have like this suspicious voice. It has just begun right so it's far from over it has just begun for some of you here right that's watching i feel like your person or you some or both of you may have been prolonging this change for a very long time i'm getting day after today or i'm getting day after today then i got day by day then i heard day after day after day after day so something is very repetitious here but somebody needs to surrender so some sort of recoding could happen or to let this rebirth happen for you. We have some scorpionic energy. Somebody could have felt like they were stung pretty hard or they know, you know, they tried to like, I just got, I was stung pretty hard. Poison. Yeah. Poison with this uh, scorpion hair. <laughs> what? We have the Eight of Pentacles. Somebody's very stressed out about the work that has to be done here or the work that has to be put in for a transformation here. Somebody's very fearful or stressed out about it. Oh, you know what? Maybe when I started to say a lot of meditation, it's not a lot of hard work. I mean, you could meditate while you do your daily activities, while you clean, while you swim, while you hike. You can meditate. But it's like, this is inevitable. It's going to happen anyway. So we have the seven of pentacles with the page of wands, putting in that hard work. What is this? Putting in the effort. Somebody's not wanting to. They're very lazy, very unmotivated, or just, just not a team player here. Somebody's unmotivated to put in this work here. They just rather daydream about it. You know, they may have felt like they put in enough and now they're just waiting for things to unfold in their behalf. But, you know, with this sun icon, it feels like somebody's projecting false positivity here. They're still in this darkness with death. So even though somebody's going through this transformation or they're going through their own darkness, kind of exploring their darkness or exploring their unhealthy parts of themselves, somebody could be ending a, a very addictive pattern or habit. Somebody could be trying to transform themselves from, you know, this addictive behavior of stressing, of worrying, of staying stagnant. It could also feel like somebody's ready to surrender to this transformation after a lot of procrastination and prolonging, dragging things out. They're ready to hit the kill, the kill switch here. With the page of wands, this is a very this is a self-discovery thing that's happening here. We have the five of pentacles. So somebody was fearing that they would have been left behind and forgotten. For some of you, 
this is a divorce. Could be a divorce with your old life. Three of swords. <clears throat> okay, this may also be a cancellation or a closure of a project that somebody worked really hard. And they tried everything they could to kind of keep prolonging it. But it's canceled now. We have the seven of swords. So someone may be <laughs> doing a lot of self-sabotaging because of fear. Somebody pushed somebody away. Didn't want to put the effort in. But yet still, there's a lot of I miss you going on here. There's a lot of heavy heart, heavy mind. Have you forgotten about me? So someone may have been pushing you away creating a lot of um, deception between the both of you because this person was very afraid. They were stressed out. Oh, man. They were really stressed out about this storm, about this transformation. And they kind of put themselves out in the cold after they pushed you away. This person was very pessimistic about this change. Uh, they could be very connected or have like this powerful connection to death. Maybe they like dead things or for some reason they honor the dead more than the living. You guys may have been going through this for a while. This may have some sort of loyal friendship going on underneath it. But it's like too many betrayals or too many disappointments. Somebody's not wanting to put in the effort anymore. The ebb and flow going on here with the Queen of Cups energy. This is helping somebody to become a very skilled sailor here. Becoming uh, strong in learning how to sail their ships. Somebody may want to come back and confess after being called out. Now with the Queen of Cups, I have a very, very emotional message to convey here. <laughs> it's a lot of anxiety being uh, induced by the situation. It's a lot of emotions, a lot of intense uh, missing. There's a lot of, um, I miss you that my heart hurts. Again, this could be a friend. This could be someone that you were toughing it up, tugging it out with, or somebody's tugging it out. Okay, so somebody's rediscovering that they do have very loving emotions. Hey. Someone may be looking at you as the holy grail, very nurturing, uh, very sweet, very caring energy with the queen of cups. So what I'm getting here is that you have caused this person a very powerful transformation, one that they have been denying, running away from, uh, intentionally trying to hurt you to push you away with the seven of swords, three of swords energy. And when they succeeded, when they finally got you to kind of look at your own emotions and how you're feeling in this situation, they see that you dropped it and become, became very unmotivated to, uh, to see this through. Now this person is daydreaming about you, but they're very lazy. You could be still thinking about a lot of the mixed messages or the inconsistency this person brought to your life, and it sometimes makes you very upset. It makes you very stressed out here. Some of you have begun uh, to understand that your distorted feminine energy was very, very uh, attached to this person's fear, to this person's laziness. Your heart hurt. You had to heal. This is healing. You're going to have to put in extra effort and work into healing your heart space with the three of swords so you could better understand the messages your heart is trying to tell you and vice versa. This could be something that you guys are sharing, some sort of shared lesson. So how do we move forward from this lesson of heartbreak, of being deceived, of being left out in a cold? What's going to happen here is that you're going to have to, in this five of pentacles energy, you're going to have to look for the positivity in the situation. If you have help, if you have charities that you're involved in, be supportive of those people so you could feel that sense of gratitude. All right. If you couldn't help this person, it's this person pushed you away because of their own fear of transformation and change. Go out there and be more charitable to people that support you. I need to be alone. Don't take it personal. So your person may want to be very single or they just want to be 
alone because you know they may have suffered or they may have been a victim of deceit themselves and therefore they fear that it would happen again so they play the game before it happened to get to them resulting in pushing the both of you out in the cold you may have been dealing with somebody that was very spiritually disconnected to their higher self and their source they were prolonging facing that for a very long time they're having this dna activation it's an awakening here for this person and i feel like they're looking at a lot of things that they were putting a lot, a lot of investment and hard work and it's breaking their heart that they were throwing a lot of their energy and resources into things that are very tedious and dead end here with the eight of pentacles now with the queen of cups what i was getting was i am my best when i'm with you you may make this person laugh. You may touch their heart. Something about your fingers or the way that you touch them intensify their senses. By the way, happy birthday to all the Tauruses in the house. This person has memories of your lips on theirs. Doesn't have to be. That's for some of you. This person loves you. For all that you are and all that you're becoming, you may feel the exact same way about them, but the both of you are right now going through a lesson. And for some of you, this is just you on your own. You're going through a lesson with a friend, somebody that you toughed it out with, someone that uh, you refuse to put an end to because of a fear of the end. You got what I'm saying? But it's just the beginning. Some of you may need to go off on your own journey to become better people for each other in the future. All right. That's just something I'm getting. Someone here is very lazy to put in the effort towards you. Whoever you are in the queen of cups, they could be suffering with mommy issues. Who knows? All right. Mommy dilemmas. Who knows? This person feels like this love is so intense. It kind of pushes them to do the self-discovery or to rediscover something about themselves that they were working really hard to put away. All right. This person wanted to be in the seven of swords energy because of fear. So they were always choosing fear over love, over changing. We have destiny guiding me into my purpose. So this was meant to happen. There was this was part of your healing to be on your destiny. Your purpose comes from your heart space. It comes from your heart wisdom, your heart brain. You may be the most feminine person your person ever met. It says lost for words. I don't want to make the same mistakes again. So this is why this person wants to be alone. Family may be involved or right now they're kind of looking uh, at duties, obligations, investments that they made with family and they feel very betrayed about that for some of you family has enabled your person from maturing hey but they do like you romantically for some of you um they like love you we have your incredible in bed you may have been dissatisfied with this person maybe you've kind of felt like it would have been more nurturing more caring and that kind of let you down it could have been more loving or you were looking for more love in some sort of sex or uh, being with this person in bed. So maybe something didn't happen. Maybe you guys didn't go all the way, you know, and you kind of disappointed. But this person just wanted to be close to you. They could have been very uh, tired here with the page of wands and they didn't show any effort to sleep with you or. Um, yeah, you know, they just wanted to lay. So they may have given you mixed messages. Maybe you thought that you were going to get all crazy in bed and they just wanted to relax. They just wanted to go to sleep with you. It's like, I don't want to have sex tonight. Let's just go to sleep. And that may not have been where your mind were, but you may have accepted it. You may have decided to just, uh, tolerate it. You know, we have chosen to follow a higher path. So we have purpose. This person's both of you may be doing the same thing or this is what this person is going through or you, however it resonates. So, you know, whatever is happening here, it was destined to happen to be guided to your purpose, to follow a higher path. And all that happens in the heart space going up to the higher chakras. All right. The heart space is the central, is the center of this awakening of, of this DNA activation. Projects will lead to success. 
fruitful networking and opportunities ahead all right so that's that's up ahead for you guys we have betrayals disturb my inner peace that's because that's the seven of swords with the three of swords and faith so whoever this resonates with it feels more like your person but it could be you as well betrayals disappointment has disturbed somebody's inner peace and this is why it's very hard this is why you have a lesson of balance this is the lesson and this is how we will move the frig on is by tapping into that inner peace is by tapping into that heart's brain you had to hurt to heal you had to know what pain was to heal it now you got to put in that work now you have to be very pessimistic uh, you have to be very optimistic so if you felt like you were just on a dead end you were working dead end jobs get into something that's close to your heart fall in love queen of cups fall in love with your passions and your purpose and you do so by doing the best you can with whatever you have and being grateful for if whatever the outcome of the results are staying open-minded about different outcomes here with the eight of pentacles choose one thing and throw your energy in it Choose something else next week and put your energy in it. But whatever it is, it's very fruitful here with the eight of pentacles. It has the potential to grow more, to be more. You just have to stand back, take a look at whatever it is, tw check it twice. All right? Daydream a little, use your imagination a little bit, get in that in spirit of the wands, get passionate about it. If it's not something that's close to your heart or your, it triggers your sensitivity, then it's not part of your purpose. It's not part of your destiny. It's not part of your higher calling. All right? So, again, if you're being triggered, this is the first step of enlightenment. Triggers can teach you a lot about yourself and what is left for you to heal. There's going to be multiple issues coming up here with the Queen of Cups. You're going to feel discouraged. You're going to feel like you don't have enough. You're going to feel like, damn, I don't want to start over. But you're going to be pulled. You're, you're pulled in that direction here with the Page of Wands to rediscover and discover. It's time to explore. All right, so let's see. What is their divine protectors, angelic guardians or guides and ancestors would like you to know? You're going to have to travel in a new direction. You may not want to leave this past behind or this life behind, but you're going to have to leave something behind here. And it may be this person that's pushing you away in the seven of swords. You know, this is someone that's intentionally uh, ignoring you or silent on you. So we have the North energy going on here as well. So, okay, so we have a compass here. So, you, you know, you may, be high, you may be heading in the right direction despite of how sad or disappointed it may be or how much betrayals you're, you're going through. You're heading in the right direction with that moral compass. Stay in this curiosity energy here as well. Mm. <laughs> So I heard the north direction and north could be more introspective. I'm seeing a buffalo, a white buffalo. Again, it's all about discoveries with the north energy. Intellect and intuition is needed with the queen of cups and the moral compass. Some of you may have some sort of enlightenment at the middle of the night. That's what I'm getting. There's a lot of grounded energy coming from this north energy. So the message that comes with this card reads, welcome any opportunities to travel either to the outer or to the inner worlds. This traveling card could look like a gypsy on the front. So maybe you have some gypsy energy, Native American energy going on as well. I'm seeing Greece. Doesn't have to be. So we're moving in a new direction when it comes to this card in a new way. Some of you have a lot of ancestral wisdom that's encouraging you to move forward or go on some sort of trip that has some sort of exciting process uh, to it. 
Some of you are really heartbroken that somebody pushed you away or pushed you out in the cold. You feel like this person abandoned you or forgotten about you. Again, I need to be alone. Don't take it personal. So this is your opportunity to kind of go on a different path that leads to success for you. So this person pushing you away may be a blessing in disguise. And I say a lot of times when you're in separation with a very intense connection, sometimes people push you away so you could concentrate on yourself. You have been given too much or you're just too available and it's now time to get back to your own purpose, to your own higher calling. And this higher calling is moving you in a new direction. Some of you are going to have a lot, a lot of ancestral wisdom that's going to come on this uh, exciting journey. It's going to be lonely for some of you, but you're going to meet exciting uh, business offers or networking. Some of you may meet your soul family here. It's the road that's less travel that's coming up with this card as well. So you might have new friends, new companions. For some of you, you may become a better companion for this person as well and vice versa. Wow. So how do we move forward from this lesson is to move in a different direction and know that your angelic guardians, guides, your angels, your ancestors, your divine protectors, they're all with you. That's crazy because I got the same exact message uh, in a different card, in a different story, in a different spread. So every single moment you're, you're going to be evolving. And I, I did mention with the page of wands, this is about self-discovery or rediscovery that's going on here. Fall in love with your passions, your goals, your purpose, your higher calling. You're being encouraged to look at how far you have come and know that you're really growing as a person. You know, you're going to be recognized for some support here or you're going to be recognized in the future to this person for the support that you have given them. Some of you are meeting a lot of new people and you're having the recognition and this person is heartbroken that you may be forgetting about them. You have stepped into your transformation or you're embracing your transformation despite of the fears. <clears throat> and this person wants you to know that, you know, you have a very beautiful, you have this beautiful inner beauty. It's like breathtaking. And this person feels very sad or empty or heavy when you're not around them. Memories keep this person warm. This person loves you for who you are and who you're going to be. So if you're having fears about releasing this person or giving yourself a transformation because you, you fear that it's going to be an end to something, I feel like that's just your rational mind, your ego is trying to stop you from going forward here. So with the Seven of Swords... Please stop self-sabotaging if that's what you're doing. I feel like moving forward with the Seven of Swords energy, the Traveler, projects lead to success and fruitful networking opportunities. With the Seven of Swords, you're turning a new leaf Hey, That's what I'm getting with the Seven of Swords. But you're playing cowardice or you're trying to outsmart yourself from a this balance that you need moving forward. You may be dishonest or you're not being truthful with your heart about your heart. Some of you may feel like something unfair would happen if you grant yourself or surrender to this transformation as well. Some of you, uh, not to sound so insensitive, but some of you are holding on to a liar. Some of you are holding on to someone that's a cheater, that has a cheating history, a serial cheater here, and you're ignoring the warnings here. This person pushed you away more than once. They know what type of heart you have here. This person is, listen, this person is pushing you to your purpose. All right? There was a lot of manipulation in the past that kind of mess with your peace hair as well. You know, you have to come to terms with who people are uh, at this point of time. You know, this person may have tried to like cheat their way out of transforming things with you, cheat their way from putting in the work. They kind of undermine you and some of you could have overcompensate and this person kind of like tore down the, uh, 
the loyalty you have for them. So with the seven of swords, they could talk about, you know, coming clean out of this, breaking free from it, pushing through these mental challenges you have with this rational thinking. All right. But ultimately the choice is yours. We are all ready to move on when we're ready to move on. But what's going on here is that your angelic guides, they're urging you to take off in this new direction. All right. To take off in this self-discovery mode, this transformation in your life. It's good to have memories, but they don't want you to stay there. They want you to kind of look at your heart's truth and move forward in that because you have a lot hey you have potential for things to be more something is very rooted here or you need to look at your roots some sort of dna some of you this quest is going to bring you closer to your family tree or your family culture or your family roots or it's part of your family to be this very loving catering caring nature here but it's very raw and I feel like this is why this person pushes you away. I'm just getting here with a lot of this direction and the north. I'm getting that distance is going to give you guys a reason to love harder with this queen of cups. So enjoy. This person enjoys spending time with you. All right. Don't, don't mistake that. All right. So I'm going to leave it there. I hope you guys did enjoy this ranting edition on the hourglass. <laughs> All right. So yeah. See you guys in another channel message. Chat to you guys later. Thank you guys so much for your support, your donations, your tips to the free reading tag on the hourglass. Any additional information, you could find that in the description box below. I will be reopening for our personals or private readings, and I will be sure to post that out there for you guys to see. So stay tuned. And I'll see you guys again in another channel message. Chat to you guys later. Ciao.